Hello everybody, my name is Mark. Welcome to another RuneScape video. And in this video, I am going to show you a very easy way of making money. And uh, the good thing about this particular way of making money is that you can be low level. You can even be a brand new. You could uh, just barely start a new account like yesterday. And you could go to town and start picking these potatoes. And believe it or not, I, I'm here at the potato patch. And it's north of Lumbridge. And I'll show you. Uh, the best way that I use to get here in a minute. Uh, but you see my marker here on the big map. And I am at the potato patch. And to the south there is a cow pasture. And if I close this out, you can see all the yellow dots to the south in my mini map. So I'm here at this potato patch. There's 85 potatoes here. And believe it or not, if you were to walk around and just start picking these potatoes, and you do this for an hour... You are going to make somewhere in the 500,000 to 600,000 gold per hour range. Okay. Now, there's a few things that I want to tell you when you do this. Now, the first is you see all of these empty sacks in my inventory. Each of these sacks holds up to 10 potatoes. So right now, I just picked six potatoes. And so if I, I'm going to click a few more potatoes and get a total of 10 here. So you can see how to do it. And uh, I just picked up a potato seed right there. And I'll explain that part in a second. And uh, now I've got my 10 potatoes. Now all I have to do is click on a sack, fill empty sack. And now I can go pick some more potatoes. So I don't have to make very many bank runs. It take I can make a, I can stay here picking potatoes and I make a bank run like once every like 10 to 15 minutes or so and in an hour okay I in my inventory I have 17 uh, empty sacks okay and the reason why I have 17 your inventory has 28 empty slots right so if you wanted to you could pick 28 potatoes and you'd make lots of bank runs but it's better to have the empty sacks because you can fill up the empty sacks and you can pick all these potatoes and if i were to empty them uh where, where is it at empty the potatoes there okay so now the sack is down to four potatoes i pick some potatoes now if i fill the sack like that i got 10 potatoes and then I can fill this sack you can see that it stores a lot of potatoes and it cuts way down on the time that I spend making bank runs right so I have 28 empty slots and if I don't bring any sacks I can pick 28 things but it's way better to take and I, I got 17 sacks. Now, I could have took 18 empty sacks, and that would leave me with 10 left over. But you see this potato seed here? Every, I want to say, like 20 to 25 potatoes, you're going to pick up an empty, you're, you're going to pick up a potato seed. And it's pretty random. But they come out, you pick up a, a potato seed like once every 20 to 30 uh, potatoes that you pick. And... If you wanted to, if you had 18 empty sacks, I have 17. But if I wanted to, I had 18 sacks, and then I could just drop the potato seeds and clear up a spot for the potato. Because it's, you know, the, the potato seeds, let, let me pick those up. The potato seeds, if you examine them, they're worth 59, right? But the potato itself is worth 836. So it, it's way better value to just drop the potato seed and keep the potatoes right but that takes time right it takes a few seconds for me to click on the potato and click drop the potato seed just so that I can keep it clear if I only had 10 empty spots so that's why I lowered it down to 17 empty sacks okay by using 17 sacks and that leaves a spot for those potato seeds and let me go ahead and pick up the the uh, potato seed uh, where, where is it at here it's hard to see on my mini map well Okay, you know what? Forget it. I'll, I'll find it. Maybe if I pick pick these potatoes, I can find it here. Uh, I really want my potato seed. Where are you, mister? There it is. Okay, right there. Okay, so now my potato seeds, I got two of them now, back in my inventory. And now if I pick potatoes, if you count the potatoes, 
you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the 17 potato sacks leaves an extra slot for these potato seeds. That way, I don't have to fiddle with my mouse and drop the seed just so that I can keep picking potatoes and make the more money, right? I figure, okay, I will forego keeping 18 sacks and just take 17 sacks and make my bank run and then just keep the potato seeds that way it saves me time and it makes it just a little more afk this is not an afk method by the way so uh, if you're looking for something afk then you got to pick a different method right but again the good thing about this particular method is that you don't need to qualify in any way to start picking potatoes you can start picking potatoes as a level one mage or range whatever as a level one character you start picking potatoes you don't have to do any quests you don't have to level up or anything you just start picking potatoes right so uh, when you start doing this get your potato sacks and you fill all of these up right and you fill and then uh, the second thing I want to tell you okay so I got my 10 potatoes and now I'm going to fill this sack and there now that one's got 10 and now this one's got four and let me pick six potatoes uh, right now real quick just so I can equalize it all and I don't have to keep keep it all looking cockeyed here so there's three potatoes four potatoes five potatoes and six potatoes you see it goes pretty quickly too right it's just like clockwork okay so now I got three potato I already got 30 potatoes in those three potato sacks now Let's say that I have a full inventory, okay? Now, the next thing I want to say is you, you cannot use your Wicked Hood, okay? Because if you use your Wicked Hood, then, and remember, you're going to do this for an hour, okay? It's not going to take you an hour to fill up 17 sacks, okay? In an hour, if you do this for an hour, you're going to, to be able to make five to six bank trips, tricks back and bank trips back and forth right uh it's not going to take you an hour so i have more empty sacks in my inventory right so when i make my bank run i'm going to unload all of these full potatoes that i'm picking and then i'm going to pick up a new set of 17 potato sacks and so you can't really you can't withdraw because if you use your wicked hood and i'll just use the wicked hood right now and show you and teleport to the Wicked Hood. The Wicked Hood is the fastest teleport to any bank, but the problem is it's a deposit box. So you can deposit stuff, right? And that's great, but you can't withdraw anything, right? So you can't use the Wicked, the wicked Hood. You have to use, I, I say, use the uh, your Ring of Kinship and teleport to Demonheim. So right-click on your ring, and then that's a pretty fast teleport. It's not quite as fast as the Wicked Hood, a lot faster than using a lodestone and that teleport teleports you right close to the bank so you just walk to the north here really quickly and then you go to your bank and so if let's say I spent the last 15 minutes filling all these sacks then I click on the bank guy right there and I would unload these right here and I would deposit them and only three of them disappeared because the rest are empty but if all of them were filled with 10 potatoes then all of them would disappear and then I withdraw my empty sacks and I withdraw 17 of them so I do 10 and then withdraw 5 and then click on two of them and then I'd have my empty sacks so I will put three more in and now I once again have 17 sacks 1 2 3 4 5 6 11 16 17 and I still got my potato seeds and that leaves me with 10 empty spots 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and so now I can fill those 10 empty spots with potatoes and then I can fill the empty spots with 10 potatoes now next part is the quickest way to get to that potato patch is to the Varrock lodestone not the Lumbridge lodestone but the Varrock lodestone and then when you get to the Varrock lodestone you're gonna start walking to the south and I'll show you how to do that here in about a half of a second and so now you just click and you see my mini map you just start clicking to the south and you just want to follow along those that group of buildings down there and just kind of walk parallel to those buildings until you get to this building where you see all these yellow dots and when you get to that just click your mouse in the yellow dots and you're gonna walk through that and when you get through to the other side of those yellow dots you're gonna see a red line there that red line is the gate to the potato patch okay and so when you get to the potato patch 
now you're here you open the gate and now you're back to picking potatoes again so very very quick and easy and again if you do this for an hour you'll make five to six bank runs of 17 of these sacks okay and uh these sacks when they're all filled up and let me let me uh pick 10 potatoes really quick and I'll show you why it's good money for low level I mean how much money do you really expect to make when you're level one or level two you're not going to make two or three million or five million an hour be happy if you're just barely brand new starting out and you can manage to make five to six hundred thousand gold in an hour that's a pretty happy day you know when I started playing this game I didn't know about this and so I was chopping wood right cutting trees around the rock and so i was only making maybe one to two hundred thousand gold okay so now i got my 10 potatoes and now i'm going to fill my empty sack like that okay there now i got the empty sack now the next thing i want to tell you is and this will make it easy to pick potatoes so you see how i'm standing on a potato right now so i'm going to pick this potato and then i'm going to move my mouse like right there and now I never have to move the mouse again. I just click the mouse and the screen automatically moves my guy to the next potato and I never have to move the mouse. And the reason why that is is geometry, okay? Each of these potatoes are equally spread out from each other just like geometry. It's like one big parallelogram. So you never have to move your mouse. Your guy will automatically move the mouse to the next potato. So you can very easily pick 10 potatoes and you don't even have to use the mouse right see now I'm going to go to this one and I just go down the big lines right I just go down the big lines like that and then when it's filled up now I fill an empty sack and now I go back to what I was doing and so it's really quick and easy like clockwork so if you do this for an hour you will make about five to six bank runs and a sack of potatoes if I examine the potatoes, go for 6,982 gold. So let me show you that again, 6,982. So if you can make five to six bank runs of 17 potatoes, then you do the math, you're gonna make somewhere between five to 600,000 gold in an hour. And that is nothing to complain about for a very low level, easy money making method, which is what this method is and it's what this video is all about. So. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you're a brand new character, just, you know, come here. Uh, go to the Varrock Lodestone and go the way that I showed you earlier in the video. And just come to this potato patch and start picking potatoes. Uh, and uh, eventually later on, you know, if you, if you decide to become a member, no more free to play, you're going to start training up your farming. And the farming, uh, where, where's the little farming thing here? Uh, this will be the last thing that I talk about before the end of this video. The farming guy right there. See, I got a level 71 farming. But when you start training up the farming, you know, potatoes are the reason why these are all in such high demand. Okay, because if you have a player-owned farm or if you're just making farming runs, you know, you uh, the these... Uh, these farm patches, the, the allotments, they have guys there that will take care of your farms and they ask you to give them a sack of 10 potatoes, right? And so that's why these are in demand. And so go to town, pick some potatoes, have some fun, and happy runescaping to you. Ciao.